also at this place in Lexington is a, is the place where I was a little fucked up one night and had to get talked out of fighting a swan. I think I could take one swan. I've been told that I can't. I'm not saying I wouldn't take some damage, but you tell me a swan would kill me? Fuck you. I would at least be able to grab it by the neck one time. And as soon as I get that neck, I'm wrenching it. Now, I might I might take some damage, and I definitely would go in wearing some goggles because I think they'd go straight eye shot. Right? I think they're going eye shot. And I might have to go heavy goggle. And I think they're probably faster than me, and it would hurt a lot. But I think, I could grab, I would, you tell me I can't jump on top of a goose. It's coming at me. I'm coming at it. It's coming. And I've seen them. They come like, so it's coming and I'm running straight at it. It might get me with a couple, but I'm going to jump on top of it. I'm going to fuck a goose up. I'm going to fuck a goose up. Now, two geese, I don't know how that works. I'm not sure if they're like coyotes and wolves where they do better in packs. One goose, fuck you. I'm going to fuck a goose up. Not, I'm not saying I won't take a little damage. Now, I, I have taken a step back. I thought I could beat up a bighorn sheep, too. Um, and then I saw a video of what they do. Not as confident in me taking a bighorn sheep. I thought I could jump over it when it was running at me. I don't know if I could do that now. My whole goal, my whole, here's my whole strategy is to get it, get it on. If I got on its back, I think I got it because I would choke it out. I don't know if it's got a neck, but I would gouge its eyes and, and they don't really bite. They just fucking gunk. Maybe they bite, but I think if I could get uh, on a bighorn sheep's back, but after I've seen the videos, I think it would be harder to get on its back. Uh, so I'm going to retract the bighorn sheep, but goose swan fucking one up and one coyote fucking up a coyote too. Coyotes, a single coyote, not super dangerous unless you're dealing with a tiny dog or a baby. Have you seen the video of the coyote taking the baby out of the back of the car in the valley in California? Fucking crazy, dude. Coyotes in in Calif in, in LA in particular are very methy. They 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 look like they would suck your dick for a choco taco. Like they are they're mangy. The ones out here look like like real coyotes. Yeah, they look like Balto. Is there a difference between coyotes and dingoes? A dingo is in Australia, and I, I so I think there is a difference. I don't. I think I don't know. I I I don't know if you know this, but zoology not really my your forte wheelhouse. Yeah. yeah, I'll give you an educated guess. I think a dingo has a has a when it howls probably has an Australian accent. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, mighty, or whatever it does. Uh, but yeah, I, I and dingoes are the have like a movie made after it, and coyotes don't. Wasn't Meryl Streep in a dingo stole my baby? I don't know. I think it was a Meryl Streep. I I like to think it was Meryl Streep. Why would Meryl Streep be in a movie called The Dingo Stole My Baby? I. I <laughs> I, I gotta Google. I think the name of the movie is a dingo, a dingo, dingo stole my baby. I think that's a meme, actually. But I think it comes from a movie or a TV movie. One of the two. I may not. I may be wrong about Meryl Streep. It doesn't feel like a Meryl Streep type. If she gets a script that said "Dingo stole my baby," I'm not sure that she's like I need to read this. So Dingo ate my baby. Ate my baby. Is a phrase associated with the 1980 death of Azaria Chamberlain, an Australian baby girl who was taken from her tent by a dingo while her family was camping at Uluru in the Northern Territory. But what's the movie associated with that? Wasn't there a TV straight to TV? Or maybe I'm just thinking about that. Dingo ate my baby. But how did they get that quote? She said it on the news or something? Something like that. Let me look at the movie. I, 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 I don't know why that's a full movie. It feels like just a scene in a movie. Do they hunt the dingo? Okay, so the movie was called A Cry in the Dark. It was in 1988, and it did star Meryl Streep and Sam Neill. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> yeah! Fucking Meryl Streep with an Australian accent saying, I'm sure, 
You because I remember the commercial. Dingo ate my baby. The dingo took my baby. It says many people have heard the phrase "the dingo took my baby," popularized wrongly as "a dingo ate my baby." A Cry in the Dark, aka Evil Angels, tells the story of the death of Azaria Chamberlain, a nine-week-old baby who disappeared during a camping trip in Australia. But what's the story once the dingo takes the baby? Is it just how it destroys the family? You know what I mean? Like, it feels like a really... So it says, as the family mourn and attempt to get back to what might be a normal life, there are months of investigation culminating in the Chamberlains being charged for the murder of the baby and facing a court case. Why? Do, what they, they, do they smother the baby in honey? Like, do, what did they do to murder the baby? Negligence, I guess. All right. I mean, if you're in the bush... You know what I mean? Lindy is charged with murder and the focus of the prosecution. She remains strong and stoic while Michael struggles emotionally, verging on a nervous break. Yeah, no shit. Anyways. Uh, Zingo ate my baby. But I knew that was Meryl Streep. D -d -d Tell me something. Did you think I was 100% wrong on the Meryl Streep? No, I didn't. Um, I, I just thought you were wrong on the title of the movie. Yeah, I definitely was wrong on the title. <laughs> Because it sounds like something Meryl Streep would say. Yeah, dingo ate my baby. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.